the trailing clip point on the buoy knife is especially useful for the buoy back cut. And there are two uh, schools of thought on how the back cut was done. One is with the standard grip with the edge facing down. The other is with the edge facing up. Oh, and the uh, yellow tape you see on the trainer buoys here we have is just to simulate a, uh, a brass spine. So, one thing I would caution you on the forward edge back cut, and there are three flavors of these, the three types. Uh, one is simply a hook, which is fine. Then there's the back, backhand back cut and a dropping back cut. Both of those are similar to moves we do in Philippine martial arts, called some places abadiko or a fan cut, uh, or if you're church, the uh, same movement called a wakik or a whipping cut. And just like a whip, the maximum velocity, maximum power is achieved at the end of the motion. So, if, for instance, if he's coming in on me and I try to back cut by that downward whip across his hand, the, the maximum velocity and force comes in a very small section of time. And to me, it's analogous of like uh, trying to shoot a bird flying across the path compared to a shotgun, perhaps trying to shoot it with a rifle. So if he comes in and I simply make a chop down, that's kind of like trying to shoot the bird with a shotgun. I have a lot of cutting edge to get the job done. But if I go and try to whip it, that whipping back cut, that's more like trying to shoot the bird on the fly with a rifle. And the problem with this is if you're fighting a, an experienced opponent, he comes in, he can anticipate that, he can uppercut my arm and escape out of range by the time I do that back cut. So something to think about. Uh, now, the other thing is, what I really like that trailing clip point for is if you were fighting, and I guess this is all historical reenactment. I don't think many people are going to walk around with a 12 inch bowie knife, uh, although you can in Texas these days. Um, but what I find interesting is if you did use it as those early buoys, and Jim Bowie's supposed to have that uh, brass uh, backer on the spine. Uh, then it makes a lot more sense to have that trailing point with the fighting with the edge up because there you can go if I'm fighting my opponent and I can use that brass backer to strike at his edge, cutting edge, and it's not that they call it a blade catcher, it's not going to catch the blade per se, per se. What it's going to do is bite in long enough to keep him from sliding off the blade and then I can go back and get the back cut here and do a variety of thrusts. So, let's see those two techniques from the other side. So, if I am in standard grip and I want to do a back cut, the hooking back cut works fine, but that backhand or that dropping, be aware of the fact that your moment of greatest power is a very short percentage of that arc. So if he comes in with a stab and I go to whip him here, he can go and uppercut me very easily on that in terms of just a very natural motion for the recovery. The other thing I want you to think about is if you are fighting with the blade edge up, and especially on these longer blades, this is a, a replica from uh, Volpe trainers, uh, training gear from uh, a um, Cold Steel 1917 frontier buoy. And you notice how the spine is about as long as my arm, as long as my palm, I should say, yeah. And that gives you a lot of natural ability to strike with that. Uh, generally, things that are based, a blaze that are based on body parts, uh, tend to have a natural pointing ability or a natural cutting ability. So you have more accuracy because it's based on a body part. It's easier for you to, to judge the distance you need to use. So. If we're on guard and I strike towards his weapon, I'm basically drawing his block. What I'm doing here is coming outside his range, so it's a little hard for him to reach me, as opposed to striking in directly to him. And it's a lot easier for him to cut my fingers or cut my arm. So what I'm doing, because I have this big blade, is attacking his hand at the outside of his range, cutting into his, or grabbing, let's say, his blade with the soft spine of the brass and then coming around and covering my line and then I can get in. 
So a couple of ways wherein the trailing clip point might be useful in a Bowie knife.